Hey guys, so we're going to do a vocabulary lesson here on the wetlands. This is our last survivor unit, which is kind of sad because we really love survivor, but this is our last one and it's on wetlands. So let's learn about the wetlands. First word we need to know is seasonal, which means that things change with each season. We know the seasons are summer, spring, winter, and fall. So those are the seasons. And in the wetlands, things change every season. So it's important to know what seasonal means. Seasonal means it changes every season. So if you go to the wetlands in the winter, it's gonna look different than when it is in the fall. If you go to the wetlands in the spring, it's gonna be different from how it is in the summer. Okay, so it's seasonal. Next up is marsh. Marsh is another name for wetlands, kind of like swamp. A marsh is where there's lots and lots of grass and water meeting each other. You can see on the picture, the marsh has got lots of trees and water. It's really, really swampy. You would have to wear big boots if you went to the marsh. There'd be animals that could be in water or in dry land on the marsh. So a marsh is a really swampy, wet area with lots of grass and lots of plants. We got cattails. These are not like a kitty cat. These are a kind of plant that grow in the wetlands. A cattail is that little brown thing. And inside those are actually their seeds. So if you were to open it, you see all the seeds. It looks kind of like a hot dog, but don't eat it because inside of it are all those white fluffy seeds and the cattails will eventually pop and all the seeds will come out they grow cattails grow right where the water and the land meet so they grow right on the bank okay and lots of animals like to hide in the cattails okay next one is boggy boggy look at that picture oh my goodness doesn't that look nasty kind of you would not want to go swim in there lots of sticks lots of trees lots of mess going on down there in the boggy area it's real boggy that means it's real wet it's real muddy it's real nasty lots of animals like to live in boggy areas but people we don't love them not be a good place to build a house would it no, I don't think so. So this area is a very boggy area. And our last word is this word called brackish. Brackish. Okay, and brackish is where salt water and fresh water meet. That's called brackish water. A lot of swamps and marshes and wetlands feed into rivers. A lot of wetlands also feed into oceans. So that's where we've got salt water and fresh water mixing together. It makes it hard for some animals to live there, but some animals have special adaptations where they can live in water that is brackish. So it's going to have a little salt water and a little fresh water and it's mixing together. Some animals have special adaptations. A bull shark, for instance, is one of the only sharks who can live in brackish water, which means it can have a little salt and a little fresh water mixing together. Okay, so that's our vocabulary for the wetlands, and I hope it helps you as we finish up our unit survivor.